Welcome to our channel. Today's video is all about giving your betta fish the perfect resting spot in their tank. Betta fish love places to rest and hide, and providing such options can keep them happy and healthy. In this video, I will discuss the best resting spot options and products for your betta fish. So if you like to know about great resting place ideas for your betta fish, keep watching. Let's get started. Number 1. Caves and Hideouts. Caves and Hideouts great option for betta fish resting spots. Providing caves or hideouts in your aquarium can create security and comfort for your fish. In addition, it creates a more natural and familiar environment for your fish. You can create a visually appealing and dynamic environment for your fish by using a variety of caves or hideouts in a betta tank. As you may already know, betta fish are territorial creatures and often establish territories in their aquarium. Providing caves or hideouts can help divide the aquarium into different territories and prevent aggressive behavior between fish. It's important to choose the right material for your caves or hideouts. Ceramic or resin structures are a great option as they are safe for fish and won't leach harmful chemicals into the water. Avoid using materials that use metals or painted surfaces which could harm your fish. See the pinned comment for links to the products shown in this video about caves and hideouts. Number 2. Plants. The first and most obvious resting place for betta fish is plants. Betta fish are naturally curious and enjoy exploring their tank. In the wild, betta fish live in densely planted areas with many hiding spots. By providing plants in your betta tank, you create a more natural and familiar environment for your fish. This can reduce stress and promote overall health and well-being. Live plants are a great addition to any fish tank as they produce oxygen and absorb harmful chemicals like ammonia, nitrate, and phosphate from the water. By having plants in your tank, you maintain healthy water quality and reduce the disease risk for your fish. By choosing a variety of plants, you can create a visually appealing and dynamic environment for your fish. Also as live plants can grow, it keeps your betta fish tank interesting and gives your fish an options to explore. Live or silk plants? Live plants are an ideal option for betta tanks as they provide more natural benefits, such as oxygen production and water quality improvement. However, they require more care and maintenance, such as pruning and fertilizing. Silk plants are an excellent low-maintenance and cost-effective alternative to consider. I have used silk aquarium plants in my aquariums for years. I've found that specific products are a safe and healthy option for betta fish, since they are made of durable and non-toxic materials. Plants come with weighted bases that make it easy to move and adjust their position in the aquarium. Additionally, this gives your betta fish a variety of hiding and resting spots. One of the benefits of using silk plants in a betta tank is that they won't die or decay, which can happen often with live plants. This means you won't need to remove dead plant material, which reduces tank maintenance. Check the description or comments section for product links. Number 3. Driftwood. I have used several driftwoods from buying from a pet store to using wood from my backyard. Driftwood can add beauty to your aquarium. It can create a unique and interesting focal point in the tank. Also it can be arranged in various ways to create different structures and shapes. In addition to its natural appearance and hiding properties, driftwood releases tannins and other natural compounds into the water. This can improve water quality. Tannins can lower the pH of the water, making it more acidic, which benefits certain types of fish. Additionally, driftwood's natural compounds have antibacterial and antifungal properties, which can help the water be clean and healthy. Driftwood can encourage natural fish behavior, such as grazing and foraging. Some fish nibble on driftwood, which helps keep their teeth and digestive systems healthy. Driftwood can also provide a surface for beneficial bacteria to grow on. These bacteria can help break down waste in the aquarium, improving water quality and reducing frequent water changes. Number 4. Natural or Artificial Betta Leaves Betta leaves, also known as Indian almond leaves or katapa leaves, are leaves from the tropical almond tree. They are commonly used in betta fish tanks as a natural way to maintain water quality and create a comfortable and stress-free environment for the fish. Betta leaves contain beneficial properties such as tannins, humic acids, and flavonoids. These properties can improve water quality by lowering the pH, reducing harmful bacteria and parasites, and enhancing the natural color of the fish. 
These leaves can also help simulate betta fish's natural habitat, as they often live in water with low pH and high tannin levels in the wild. In addition to their water purification benefits, betta leaves also serve as fish resting spots. The broad sturdy structure of leaves provides a comfortable place to rest, hide, and explore. This can reduce stress in fish and promote a healthy, active lifestyle. However, almond leaves should be cleaned and soaked in water before being added to the tank. The leaves will eventually break down over time, so it's important to monitor their condition and replace them as needed. In such cases, artificial betta leaves can be considered. Firstly, they are more durable and do not break down or decompose like natural leaves. This also means that they do not need to be replaced as frequently, which saves time and money. Secondly, artificial betta leaves are also easier to clean and maintain. They do not create any waste or debris in the tank, and can simply be rinsed or wiped clean when needed. If you want to give your betta fish a truly unique resting spot, try a betta leaf hammock linked in the comments section. This is a small plastic leaf that suctions to the side of your tank, creating a little hammock for your fish to rest on. Betta fish rest on leaves in the wild, so this is a great way to mimic their natural environment. Plus, it's fun to watch your fish lounging in their little hammock. Number 5. Aquatic Plant Pot. Aquatic plant pots are a popular addition to betta tanks as they offer a variety of benefits to the fish and the overall ecosystem of the aquarium. These pots are usually made of clay or plastic and come in various sizes and shapes. One of the main benefits of aquatic plant pots in a betta tank is that they provide an additional hiding place for the fish. Bettas are territorial and like their own space, so having an extra hiding spot can reduce stress and aggression. Aquatic pots also provide an ideal environment for aquatic plants. The pots can be filled with soil or gravel and planted with aquatic plants such as java ferns, anubias, and cryptocurrin. These plants can improve water quality by absorbing nitrates and other harmful chemicals from the water. Another benefit of aquatic plant pots is, it gives visual interest to the tank. They can create an attractive underwater landscape. Number 6. Betta Tunnels. Betta tunnels are a type of aquarium decoration that provides a resting spot for betta fish. In addition, they offer a place to swim and explore. These tunnels are typically made from plastic, ceramic, or resin and designed for betta to enjoy. In addition to offering a resting spot, betta tunnels also provide a stimulating environment for fish. This can prevent boredom and encourage natural behaviors. No matter which resting spot option you choose from today's discussion, it's clear that each one provides benefits for your betta fish and their tank environment. They create a more aesthetically pleasing aquascape and offer a comfortable place for your betta to rest. These items can contribute to a happier and healthier home for your fish. If you're interested in buying any of the products, I'd really appreciate it if you could click on the links I provided in the comments section. By doing so, you'll be helping to support my channel, as I'll earn a small commission from your purchase. Hope you find this video helpful. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more informative content. Don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know which product or resting spot you like the most. Also, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Your support means a lot to me and helps me make helpful videos like this one. See you in the next video.